machines we've got in front of us here today is our floor sander range, probably the most common, common types of sander we've got. If you talk to your local branch, we do offer these in a package so you can get them, get them as a combination, which saves you a couple, couple of dollars on the hire. Uh, this machine here is a small edge sander, which is fairly straightforward to use. It does get in around the edges, the shape of it can get in under kickboards, around kitchen cupboards. Uh, usually follows up the use of this one here, which is the big main sander, and this is the one of our focus today. So we'll get onto this one and we'll show you how to replace some papers and a couple of common issues that, that can arise with the machine. Okay, our floor sander of focus today is our, is our main one, so we'll, we'll get onto a belt replacement in a second. Just a couple of things. When you do pick up the, up the machine from the Kennard Tire Branch, make sure you talk about power requirements. The units do draw a lot of current, so we need to make sure we've got the right extension cord on there. Also, talk to the guys at the branch regarding a range of paper to suit your needs, depending on what job you've got to do. Uh, we've got a range of paper and also dust bags for dust control, and always make sure you, you talk to the guys about the correct safety gear before we start. So we'll get onto the belt replacement and we'll work through that. A couple of safety things, obviously we've got it up on a bench here just to, to help us out today, but when you're at home, before you do it, make sure you unplug the power, unit switched off. Next step is, is just to lay the machine back, so all the weight's back. It is balanced, so it will stay there. Um, lift it up, you've got the old belt there we need to remove. First step is just to locate the, the screws. Simple step just to take the tension off the screws. We don't have to undo them all the way. Uh, it is spring loaded, the bar there, so it will help you stay in place. So just loosen it enough, just enough so we can get the, the paper out. Remove the paper. Uh, just one thing, when you do remove it, if the paper, if you have hit a nail and the paper's been damaged and ripped, just have a look while you've got it up, just in underneath, in around there, just to make sure there's no paper that can block up or foul the next paper when we put it on. Just check some of our manufacturers run directional paper. Uh, the easiest way to make sure we've got it going the right way is if there is an arrow, have it pointing to the ground. Simple, simple act. Put your leading edge on. The easiest way I find is then to, just to roll the paper around, pushing by the paper so it doesn't pop out. When you get to the other end, start at one end first. Tuck, tuck all the edges in and then we're right, we're right to tighten up the screws. It'll be a little bit loose at this stage, but as the screws pull tight, the tension itself, and also just make sure we're sitting square on the drum so all the edges are lined up. It's just a matter of holding your hand firmly in place, nipping up the screws. Do a bit on each side so you bring it in nice and evil. So that's on there. Good way to check is just turn around to the back, see if you can just pinch up any slackness. That's all good. Belt's been replaced, we're ready to get back to our sanding. So just remember guys, when using the equipment, Kennard Tire recommends the use of safety products at all times. Be sure to use the personal protective clothing and equipment recommended for each product hired. For more information, contact your local Kennard Tire store. Kennard makes your job easy.